Hey guys and welcome to a guide for the portable defibrillator. Now this is needed for a task and a pretty decent trade at a later stage so it's definitely an item that you want to keep an eye out or even farm to sell on the flea market. Now when it comes to the item it does spawn in interchange in static locations and in the labs but it can also spawn in containers. It can spawn in the underground caches I do have videos for all of those which is shoreline with it's got 39 um, interchange got 18, customs got 18 and the woods has got 7. I do have videos for all of those and pictures as well. As well as in Sturman's stash which is on the woods in the lumber mill. You have to kill Sturman, get a key and then you can use that key. You can find it in dead scavs. Now there is a dead scav down in the Ollie um, parking garage underground and out in the courtyard as well. Or the parking lot sorry for the Ollie area. They can be found in that as well. As well as in all of the med bags and med cases, the medical supply crates, so the ones that are underneath the bunker in reserve, if you can get into there and loot those, you can find yourself defibs in those. There will be a list at the top right of all the keys that have actually got the medical supply crates at the top right hand corner. As well as plastic suitcases, plastic suitcases are quite rare, they only spawn in interchange and in um, labs so if you find one make sure you go out of your way and loot it as well as duffel bags slash sports bags the little bags that you can find dotted around the map they can spawn in there but they are super super rare so we are going to start off in interchange now there are two keys that you are going to need but to start off we are in the center of interchange the two keys you're going to need is the emicon medical unit key currently going for around about 200k on the market and the ultra medical storage key which is currently quite expensive like 1.5 mil but it does have a higher chance in my opinion of spawning the defibs but if you are on interchange make sure you hit up mantis mantis can actually spawn the defibs inside this area they can spawn all along here these little shells right here you do have the med cases you got one here one at the back over there as well as don't forget to check these shells right here and basically just search the entirety of this location as they can actually spawn in here when it comes to emicom emicom is just up the road a little bit opposite side to where the big hole the big hole is down there and if we continue along emicom is this kind of you got this frosted over glass it is quite loud inside so it is metal people do like to camp this area there are graphic card spawns in it as well as um, eye cases uh, eye cases um uh, ledx's the skin things and um, that go for like three mil but they can spawn right here on any of these high valuable spots you've got the med bag right there anything that can spawn medical items inside this area does have a chance of spawning the defib don't forget to check inside these drums i'm pretty sure an ledx spawns in one of these um and all the way down here as well you've got another med bag and some more medical loot just over here any of these shells that are like this inside a medical facility actually has a chance to spawn meds so make sure you just check each of the shells and now what we're going to do is head up and over to the medical unit on the opposite side by tech light by the tech stores by ollie side For this room, power does have to be on. Bear in mind when the power does go on, unless you turned off the alarms. If you'd like to see the video, check that I cut out the top right hand corner. You will hear the alarm go off. The moment the alarm goes off, everyone likes to run to this room because it does have an LED spawn and as well as the defib. So it's a high valuable location, but they can just spawn all around. Usually it's on this here, over to the right and over at these two spots right here. But make sure you check this entire area. This, like I said, this is quite high valuable. A lot of, um, how can I say, rats have this key because they just sit here, come up here, check it, and it's an easy money. But this is one of the locations that you can get the defib. So, inside labs is a great location, especially down below the manager's office area. You need to make sure you check every single one of these type of shelves, all of the boxes that are dotted around. It does take a wee bit to check all of them, but it's definitely worth it. Is this is a large spawning area for defibs. Of course, LEDXs can spawn inside that little area. But all of these kind of places, like this over here, any of these like white boxes that have got these little, basically this kind of stuff, has a chance of spawning it. There's a VPX right there. So these kind of places are the ones that spawn the defibs. 
Another great location is the green key card in labs. So if you don't know where the green key card room is, what you need to do is go to the second floor. You can see the manager's office right here. And you can see the panel on the wall. Unlock it through this way, open up the door. You've got another set of doors. Just bear in mind that you can actually shoot through this glass right here. But if you just look around on these shelves along here, over at this side as well, and the flomoscopes all around are a common spawn. Don't forget to check this spot right here as a key card does spawn here. You also get some decent amount of um, meds inside of here, like stimulants and that kind of stuff. But just make sure that you check sufficiently all around this area around the edge green key cards are currently going for around about the five mil mark so only buy if you're gonna run labs but you can actually make your money back quite easily if you don't die to you know hackers because hackers are definitely ramp rampant at the moment but you can easily make your money back in this room with all the stimulants we saw a load of sj6 so if you are gonna run labs then buy it but if you're not going to run labs i wouldn't recommend buying it but this is a pretty easy way of finding defibs in labs Hopefully you guys found this guide useful. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. I do stream over on twitch.tv slash piranha underscore seven days a week starting at 8am GMT. Don't forget to check down in the link in the description for our spreadsheet. It does have all of the tasks, guides, keys, extracts, everything down there that can definitely help you, especially at this stage of the wipe. Guys, have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.